a special moment for the employees at Orkel's assembly plant in Fanrem, Norway. After six weeks of construction, an Orkel Hi-X Avo is being prepared for transport for an industrial customer on the European mainland. By this time, the machine has not only been assembled and is ready for operation, but numerous tests and inspections of all mechanical and electronic parts have already been carried out. Each phase of production is monitored according to precise checklists. Qualified personnel carry out technical inspections both during assembly and shortly before delivery. Orkel machines are in use on all continents worldwide. To save space during transport, protruding parts such as the upper platform and the wings for the filling unit or the net tying unit are packed separately. To transport the Hi-X Evo safely, it is fitted with holding points. Orkel tries to make it as easy as possible for the transporters. The machine is firmly attached to the loading area of the towing vehicle for transport. The air pressure of the wheels is lowered and the baler supports are extended. The actual transport to Europe takes three to five days. To ensure problem-free unloading of the Hi-X Evo, the customer should observe a few points. The quickest and easiest way to unload the Hi-X efficiently is with a ramp. The total weight of the press is 10,160 kilograms. Commercially available towing equipment such as forklifts or maneuvering vehicles can be used to transport the Orkel. It is important to inflate the wheels before use. The Orkel High X is used here as a problem solver on a company site in Eastern Europe. Openly stored, solid recovered fuel, SRFE, is to be wrapped into compact bales here. This is used in this power plant to generate steam for paper production and to produce electricity. The operators need to take care of the machine, doing proper maintenance, and the process is very intuitive and easily integrated in a waste management plant. The assembly of the machine is carried out by one or two Orkel technicians and usually takes one to two days. For an initial understanding of the machine, it is advisable to have the future operating personnel available. The net tying device, the upper platform, the ladder and other components are screwed on. The wrapping arms are positioned and fitted with foil rolls. After initial fine-tuning for SRF material, training can begin. Having a well-thought-out plan for loading the machine, as well as logistics of the bales, guarantees a seamless bale production. New customers are surprised at how efficient the Hi-X Evo is the first time they use it. Around 50 bales of 550 to 600 kilograms are produced per hour. This is 62.5 cubic meters of loose SRF material. The machine's functions are not difficult to learn. However, a technical understanding of the employees is a prerequisite. The training lasts three days. The machine can then be operated by the employees. To ensure that the Hi-X Evo runs smoothly, Orkel also supports it after purchase. This ensures years of reliable production. Orkel or their authorized dealers supply you with spare parts. In case of larger problems, our service team is quickly on site and this worldwide. In addition, our technical support is always there for you. We also offer you real-time support. Orkel has understood that there is a trend in this niche market to better use the resources and achieve higher performance, 
transforming what some call waste into a resource. Orkel engineers have further developed the compactor to process SRF properly, achieving high output in a fluid process. The Orkel HiX can also process refuse-derived fuel, RDF, and various other materials by making fine adjustments to the control unit. The baling and wrapping of differently shredded and sorted waste has many advantages. The storage volume is reduced by 70%. The bales can be stored easily and safely, both outdoors and indoors. The transport can be carried out cost-effectively and by using standard vehicles. The compressed bales can then be easily processed further or sold as a commodity. More and more Orkel balers are being used worldwide in the service of sustainable energy production and for the correct storage of fuel carriers made from recycled materials. When can we convince you of our technology?